Did you know that your body can heal itself naturally using its own stem cells? The process of creating living tissue is called regenerative medicine or stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy is an excellent option to surgical treatment or steroids. Combining stem cell therapy along with many procedures can increase the success of these procedures. Dr. Todd Malin and the skilled team at Center for Regenerative Medicine offer progressive, comprehensive treatments such as stem cell therapy along with personalized options for every patient. The stem cells from the adipose tissue or the fat-derived stem cells were first discovered at UCLA back in 2001. And for a period of time, due to the stem cell research ban in the United States, most of that work needed to occur outside the United States. It wasn't until October of 2009 when we were the first center in the United States to finally be able to bring that back and to be able to utilize it to help benefit our patients that we really started to understand the amazing capabilities that these stem cells had. Well, we know that stem cells have the ability to replicate themselves. When we use up stem cells in a particular day, our body has to refresh the stem cells by creating copies. In addition, we know that stem cells have the ability to differentiate, to change, to become something else, so that they can become brain cells or kidney cells or cartilage cells or bone cells. But we now understand there's so much more to that. Stem cells can become something else, but they prefer to repair a cell versus replacing a cell. So as cells become damaged or they become dysfunctional, the stem cells are able to send a variety of protein chemical signals which are responsible for reactivating or reinitiating a repair mechanism within those cells. They even have the ability to pass off complex things like microRNA and messenger RNA, which can tell the cells in the area exactly what they need to do to reset. It's almost like carrying the, the, the master blueprint so that as they carry this master blueprint and they pass it off to the cells, it lets those cells know, ah, this is the way that I should be functioning. We also learned how stem cell treatment works. Stem cell harvesting is, is really quite easy these days. Um, in, the, in the early days, we looked at it from the standpoint of the stem cells were in the fat, so we had to suck out the fat or harvest the fat to be able to get the stem cells. But that was an inefficient process. The way we look at it now is more the fat is the ocean and the stem cells are the fish. So instead of trying to catch the fish with a bucket, we're using a net to catch the fish. So we now have high-tech equipment that is designed specifically for harvesting those stem cells. And that high-tech equipment does not cause trauma to the tissue. It's not a liposuction procedure. So that therefore we're able to get much higher quantities of stem cells than we were even five years ago. And the stem cells that we get are more pristine from that standpoint. They haven't been traumatized. And in addition, because we're not causing any tissue damage by removing the stem cells, it will allows the stem cells to concentrate on what really needs to happen. Let's find out who's a candidate for treatment, how the procedure is performed, and its benefits. Well, given that stem cells are the master repair cell that can have a variety of function all over our body, it really requires a personalized approach. We need to sit down with each patient individually and understand not only where they're at today, but what are some of the causes or triggers that led to the deterioration or led to their current illness or, or injury or sickness. Our bodies are constantly going through a repair process. We have millions of stem cells floating around our bloodstream that come from our bone marrow. And those millions of stem cells are responsible for everyday wear and tear repair, everything that happens to us in a, in a daily process. So when you look at it from that perspective, there's virtually nothing that the stem cells cannot treat. Um, it, sometimes that when we, when we describe that to patients and even other doctors, they say, well, you know, that sounds almost too good to be true. But again, that's the biology. That's how our bodies were designed. As we age and as our initial source of stem cells, the bone marrow stem cells, begin to be depleted in their activity, we need to refresh those stem cells to really have the vitality and the repair mechanism that we had when we were younger. So the ability to repair damaged nerves, the ability to reverse autoimmune disorders, the ability to, uh, to increase blood flow to tissue, the ability to even resolve complex issues like hormone dysfunction and the inability of the cells to communicate appropriately, appropriately. Those are things that stem cells exceed at incredibly well. So what we're doing is we're taking storage stem cells. The stem cells in your fat are storage. Now why are they sitting in the fat doing nothing? Why are they not helping? 
That we don't quite understand. But we're, if we're able to take those storage stem cells to activate them and then release them into the system, then we have now reinitiated a new ability for the body to heal and repair. It's almost like saying, how was your body at repairing itself when you were 20? It was fantastic. And that's what we're trying to accomplish, is we're trying to take those, those stem cells that have been there, that have been resting quietly, get them into action, and promote that repair process so that now your healing and repair is the same as it was when you were much, much younger. Center for Regenerative Medicine offer advanced choices to help your body heal itself.